really nice. So it's wearing lipstick? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's looking his age, but he, he just keeps going and going. Yeah. 1990, I got him, and he was like two inches long. Oh, three, wow. Three perfect stripes on one side. Yeah. And the other side, completely different. Yeah, she's amazing. She doesn't look real, does she? No. I spotted that when she was like a, a week old. Right? Hongi, Labrador Chrome is Hongi, red top. What is going on YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. Now, We've got a really exciting day today. We are going to a Malawi cichlid breeder, uh, breeder's house. So I don't know how many tanks he's got, I don't know how many fish he's got. All I know is he's been highly recommended um, to go and do a video there. Apparently it's absolutely amazing. Um, and it's only 25 minutes from me, so it's really good. It's only in flitting, it's just up the road. But if you're into Malawi cichlids, stay tuned because this is going to be for you. But let's hit the road, guys, and let's go and see what this place is like. Right, guys, I've just got to Barry's house and he's got this incredible setup in here full of cichlids. Come check it out. This is the man himself. I'll close the door, mate, because obviously we want to keep the yeah. heat in, don't we? Keep the heat in. Yeah. Especially at the moment with the energy bills. Right, um, where do you want to start, mate? Because um, there's a lot to show in there. This room's incredible, mate. Can we start on this tank up here? Yeah, work your way down from the yeah. corner, yeah. yeah. So what what we got going on here then, mate? Well, I'll, I'll chuck some food and get a bit of interest. Okay. Right. Most of those in there, there's some young blue lips and some Estray Minos Reef with blotch females, blue males. Yeah. A couple of um Odd adult fish in there, which are sort of um, keeping out of the way for now. But they're just stuff that's been bred this year. Wow, look at them go, man. Having a, having a go on the origin. Yeah, yeah, they love that food, don't they? Yeah. So is that, that's just a flake, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's just a flake. And these guys, look, check this lot out. These haven't been fed though so far this morning, so they are hungry. Yeah, yeah. And what types are in this one then? Uh, well, there's more esterae, but these are tank bred ones, mostly plain orange with the bigger black blotches. Uh, some Travassi Chilumba. There's a big wild female Melanochromis Loreo in there. Looking for, a, looking for a home if anyone needs one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's nice, isn't she? Is she aggressive? Not particularly, no. No. She's, she's the mother of these over here. And I can't, yeah. really, I can't really use her for breeding because she's related to them all, so she's... Uh... Yeah, you don't want to interbreed them, do you? No, no. no. no that's that's where, when it goes wrong, isn't it? That's where a lot of people come unstuck, they're just breeding brother and sister. Yeah. Father and daughter and that sort of thing. Yeah. So. Wow, look at that, look. Old oh, catfish there I've had coming up 33 years, he's still going. Yeah. 30 foot mate, he's older than me. Yeah. <laughs> Some beautiful fish in it. That one, what type is that one? That's the lorry line, same as the big female over there. Right. Um, females are black and white. Yeah. Uh, when they turn, the adult males turn that colour. Oh, yeah, look, look. There's, there's him and there's three black and white females in there. And I've got another little group in the house, the same as this. Mm. It's just tanks absolutely everywhere, mate. And how long has this been set up, this fish room then? Well, I moved in 12 years ago. Yeah. So originally it was in the shed next door, and I just realised everyone's big enough, so I took over the garage. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, about, about eight or nine years I've actually had this lot in the garage. I see you need a, a big tub of food like that, mate, for all these fish. Yeah, yeah. not much left in there. No, really. no, you need to get yourself another one, yeah? <laughs> it's an order. Right. We'll go through all the uh, stock list in a minute, mate. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot to go through in there. This, this is a good one as well. It's just that was just put here temporarily as a like a, like a holding tank for a few fry while I was getting the whole system set up. Yeah. And it's been been there ever since. And the, the fry like doubling their size in a month in there. So yeah. I've just, I've just kept it going. And you can really keep an eye on them as well, yeah. there, can't you? Yeah. You have to chuck 150, 200 fish in there, and they're just. 
And all the systems, are they running off sumps in, are they, yeah? Yeah, all this side's running on that sump. Yeah. And all that side's running on that sump. The, the bigger tanks have got an internal filter in as well, just to keep a bit of extra movement. Yeah, yeah. And then the, um, the 60s light a bit of movement, don't they, as yeah. well? Yeah. Yeah. That is mind-blowing. Like, how, how many fish you've got in here. Obviously, you spend a lot of time in it, didn't you? Yeah. You've had it for years, but for me to walk in here... I wouldn't want to do a stock tank. No! <laughs> no way! <laughs> well, you think how many fryer in these tanks alone, Ned? Oh yeah. That lot is just what's in that trap. Yeah. And that's what's swimming free in there. It's a shame about the watermarks on the tank. Yeah, it just keeps it all looking real though, mate, doesn't it? Right, let's talk about the different types there, mate. So we've done we've done this one up here, didn't we? So they were I've already forgotten. <laughs> um, Esther A and Williams eye blue lips, mostly. That's uh, lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's one I bred a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, Travassi Humby West, he's a, what we call an Omorph male. Okay. He's orange, basically. Beautiful, mate, absolutely beautiful. And this tank here, this is where we got to, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, we've got tank bred Esteray, which is more lime bred type. Travassi Chilumba, which go orange along the side. Light speckled females. Back in your finger there. What else is in there? There's a little male uh, Metroclima Chrysomalos there. Yellow yeah, face. Nice, eh? And the body goes like a silvery blue colour when there's in full colour. There's another little male there. Delanus Nakata Bay in here. Uh, little end cap male, which is what we call a, a blotch male with blotch females. They're the standard type male, it's all blue. Mm. I spotted him one day the other day, that little blotch male, he's quite a nice little fish that one. He is, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. He, he stands out from the rest, doesn't he? Yeah. What's this guy up here then, this one? Is That's that one I was given, it's actually a wild female Labiotrophus filiborni, um, but we've, we've never really known where in the lake she's from, so I can't really identify her or, or give her to anyone as a specific fish, or we don't really know where she's from. Yeah. So she's a bit of a spare part, really. And she's lovely, though, isn't she? She's got some lovely colours on her. Yeah, I just wish I knew where she was from and, and what male to put her with, so... Yeah, because you've got to be careful, haven't you? Yeah. I haven't actually got a male big enough for her anyway, so I don't really know where to put her at the moment. Right. And this tank here then, mate, what have we got in here? Um, Zebra Mara Point, clutch females, solid blue males. Um, they vary quite a lot, I think that's a female, one behind it's a female as well. There's so much variation in the pattern on the females. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a big Chavassi Chilumba male there. Yeah, he's got some stunning colours on him, isn't he? Yeah, nice male, isn't he? Hmm. Two other odds and subs in there. He's quite an old fish as well. Uh, Afro Lushinunu. He's, a, he's an F1 male, which I've bred, must be eight years ago, and he's still going as well. Yeah, he's pucker, isn't he? He's, he's looking old, but he's still going. Yeah, is he still breeding with the other females and stuff? I haven't got any females left for him. Now. No. So, the only females I've got are his daughters, so they're well away from him. Yeah, 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 we don't want any of that going on, mate. No. <laughs> and these tanks here running off this sump here, like you said, and then yeah. um, internal filters, yeah, got little internal filters yeah, as well, yeah. Well. Yeah, there's loads of life in there, isn't there? Yeah. And the sump, the sump system, so what do you, what do you run in them then? Uh, well, in the bottom half, there's just alpha grog, where there's like a, 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 a perforated platform. Uh, just sponges above it really. Yeah. Uh, I did have a moving bed filter in there, but I just gave up, gave up on it because it just kept getting through into the pump. Right, well, yeah. Um, it's like pay one plastic meter floating around in there with a little pump with it. I just gave up on that. Yeah. So, well, they all seem to be doing fine, don't they? Yeah, they're doing fine. Well, they're getting, they're getting a thousand litre water change every week yeah. on this side and that side. So, 
Yeah, yeah, they love a water change, don't they? Yeah. Is that cold straight in? No, no, no. I've got um, a, uh, an IBC tank in the shed next door. Yeah. Um, and it's got a water change in there, storing it. Run through a, a HMA to take the chlorine out. Yeah. Uh, and I just pump it back in through the window when I need it. It's already heated. Ah, oh, wicked. But yeah. Nice and easy. Yeah. But I'm, I'm draining the tanks down to down to an inch, basically every week. Yeah, and yeah. Really well, well, well you've water got to really be tanks like this. You know, there's a lot of fish in there and yeah. there, a lot of waste and stuff. And obviously with the feeding, you've got to feed loads and you have to keep the aggression down on that. I'm feeding. Three times a day on, on, the, on the juveniles. Yeah. At least twice a day with the adults. Hmm. Yeah. What are you doing? You're doing something, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. Ain't got to mess about going around all the sand and stuff. No, no. no. Right, let's start up here then, pal. So, these ones up here, what we got? Things are in the candor. Uh, they are some full of born eye. Macangela in there, blotch females, the males will go blue with a red red dorsal. Uh, they're all spoken for, so I've been speaking in it in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, some little elongators that you wear in there. Not really a lot else going on in that tank. What is this, what's this big guy here then? What is he? That's that's been rescued from one of the other tanks. It's a, a Metroclima Eusicea. Okay. But it's had a bit of a battering, as you can see, its tail's a bit chewed and that. It's got a bit of, bit of a battering from its brother over this side. So yeah, so. yeah, some big boys in there, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So that's a rescue. That one's been rescued from the tank in the house because she stopped eating, but it's going back in there the next day or so. Yeah. You really care for your fish then, didn't you? Of so you keep you an eye on it, yeah, and, yeah. and see know. what's going on, yeah. Do you I know, know what? exactly what's going on every day. Yeah, it's, it's impressive, mate. Little yellow ones in here are Masobo Magunga. Males when they colour up a black with blue blue blotches on the side. Beauties, mate. Beauties. And the little ones with the stripes. What the ones with the stripes? One right at the back here, this little guy. That'll be a young um person known as Nakantanga. Okay. That'll be a male. Female to the white. Or well, there are some white males in there as well, which are not too common normally, but they're in there. Hmm. Yeah, it's a lovely fish, that. And the how do you tell the mouse? Is it the little dot at the bottom of the <laughs> anal That's thing? a question often asked. <laughs> right. Some, sometimes you can tell by that. Yeah. Um, sometimes the females have just as many of them spots as the males. Right. And you, you really, the only way you can tell is to turn the fish upside down and look at the vents. Yeah, yeah. Um, but with these, it's pretty easy. You've got the males which are going to end up blue with black bars, and the females are white. Hmm. Although it, the roles can reverse and you get the old white male. Yeah. Um, they're the ones that need venting really to, to check what's going on, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know some fish can be really hard to tell. Yeah. Sex wise, you know. I have problems with marijuana sometimes, yeah. but there are ways to find out which is which. The easier ones are these like the standard estuary. Right? Yeah. You can tell from birth what sex they are because you've got blue males and orange females. Right, yeah. And that's the way they are. Nice and easy for you. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can strip a female and you can see that you've got like six males and six females and you know exactly what's there. Yeah. No, it makes your life easier, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, what's in this one then, mate? What have got in here? Uh, Elongatus Taiwani Reef. Uh, Kalenos Nakata Bay. Same as the ones we saw down there, a little bit bigger. Blocks yeah. females, there's the old white. And solid blue male in there as well. Labradochromis with bamboo, they're not in there, I moved them down there. I need to write that up here. Yeah. I need to keep on top of these labels and yeah. move I don't know how you keep on top of it all, there's so much going on, isn't there? <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be blowing my mind when I come in here. Well, you know all the names as well. <laughs> What's in here in there, mate? Zebra Mara Point, same as the bigger ones down there. Blotch females, blue males. Uh, Sun and Tilapia Lumbera, which are F1s from a, a mate of mine, I think I got them off of uh, earlier in the summer, who sold up. Yeah. Uh, I can't really tell what, they, what they're what they like as adults, because I've not got the adults to show you. It must be quite enjoyable though, like breeding all these different fish and then 
yeah. getting the fry off them and seeing how they come as well. Yeah, definitely. Especially when you pick up a, a bunch of fry from from another breeder and you haven't got a clue what the yeah what the parents were. Yeah. That's a lovely fish, this one. Elena's the part of Bay. That's that's probably the dad of these up here. Yeah. The, yeah. And that's that's, that's the adult female there. There's another little nice male going on in there somewhere on the back there. That's his son. Oh yeah, yeah. So you've got all the family near each other. Yeah, yeah it's nice, isn't it? And the cats in here, what are these cats? They're Sinodontis petrocola. Yeah, they're cool fish, aren't they? They get a little bit bigger than that, but they are, they're one of the dwarf catfish. They only get about four inches. Yeah. And I have bred them in the past, although they're not ones I've bred. And do you find them go well with the cichlids and stuff? Yeah. Well, obviously, yeah. Yeah, well they're from Lake Tanganyika, which is similar sort of water and, yeah. and sort of biotypes, but they, they do well, they, they just seem to be ignored really. Mm. That's what we want. Yeah. yeah. Most of the signed Dundee's catfish will be okay with these, but they, technically they're, they're probably the best ones because of the same water conditions. Yeah, yeah. Just so much to see mate, isn't there? And these, these tanks down here, is it very similar to what we've got above? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff, same sort of stuff going in there. Uh, more esterae, I seem to be overrun with esterae, blotches and oranges and the, and the, and the standard um, minus reef type as well. They're just good breeders. Hmm. Esterae really in every dry tank at the moment. There's, there's one fish I've never ever been without since I've been kept in kept Malawi. I've got, they're, they're a favourite of mine. Yeah. There's so much variation of blotches. I know, I know. There's so many different colours on them, isn't there? There's a blue blue male there. That'll go sky blue when he's fully coloured. Yeah. That one's lovely. That little one with the little black on yeah. his See, that, that's, that's going to be a special fish, isn't it? Yeah. See, I fish like, keep sea fish like that and there's stuff I want to keep. Yeah. Which obviously I can't keep everything. No, that's right. Yeah, well, I, I know. <laughs> That's amazing mate, it's amazing. Right, so we've done all done, we've done this side here, haven't we? So these these are obviously just little fry tanks here, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, that's where they all start. Yeah, there's there's some in there which are literally a day old, they're, they're from last week. Some down the bottom there they really need to come out of that tank, they're getting a bit too big for it, I'll need to move them on during the week. Yeah, they look quality, didn't they? Move them somewhere a bit bigger. And these are running off the. S is they running off this no, or they're running off the sump? Off this, off this side. Same sump, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a clever system, isn't it? Well, it's supposed to be having a heater in every tank, yeah. basically, which is supposed to be costing the same as it did cost. Oh, yeah, and it looks better without yeah. having a heater in every tank, doesn't it, as well? Every tank's the same temperature, every tank's got the same water conditions. Yeah, yeah. And the room's staying warm as well, isn't yeah. it? You know, I've noticed I'm, I'm in the hoodie right now, I want to take the hoodie off. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much a constant 80 degrees in here, so you get the summer or winter. Yeah, um, yeah. It's often cooler in here in, in the summer mm. than warmer in the winter. Strange, isn't it? Yeah, it's just pretty pretty constant. Well insulated as well. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, best way. Two inch, two inch Celotex in the walls and then the cladding over it, it, it just keeps it. Ticking over? Yeah. Right, we've got some special bits in here, Barry, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, some nice stuff going on in here. Uh, red top full of ball knife, Macangela, which I've got youngsters off over there. These little black and white ones are Petrotilapia chitimba. There's a male there starting to show a bit of yellow. Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? King sizey gold lupingu, yellow male there with a blue top there. These are for the female there. Yeah. Blue lips. Yeah, that is lovely, isn't it? Really nice. It's so like wearing lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> lovely Look, looking at the tower blocks I just made out of plastic downpipes. Yeah, I see that, yeah. <laughs> it just gives them a place to hide and... Yeah. You know, if anyone's getting picked on or whatever. Well, it's lightweight as well, so if I, if I need to get out of the ladder moving stuff around, it's, it's less less bricks and rocks for me oh, to throw yeah. about. Yeah, and like big bits of wood that's soaked in yeah, yeah. water for years and years, aren't I? He is cool, this 30-year-old catfish, isn't he? 
Yeah, he's looking his age, but he, he just keeps going and going. Yeah. 1990, I got him, and he was like two inches long then. It's so incredible weight, it's incredible. He's probably at least 33. Yeah. <laughs> Right, and this bottom tank, mate. So, and these systems, are these running? So, what are these running on, like filtration wise? Uh, there is an external filter on that one as well. Yeah. Just so that if I need to shut it down to quarantine anything, I've got an independent tank to run as well. Yeah. But it is also running on, on the big sump system. Right. There's an internal filter running as well. But if I need to shut this off, then it, it can be independent. You just need a heater in. Yeah. Yeah, it's always nice to know, isn't it? Yeah. Any of the tanks I can just shut off anyway and, and run them independently. Hmm. And these, these in here, where are these from then? And what types are they? Well, they're all, they're all Malawi and Buna. Yeah. Um, the big fella there is a man on the chrome, is Chipoki. There's a little female there, and I've just had some fry off of them this week. Zebra Mara Point. MCAT male, blotch male, bit of a rarity. They normally, yeah. They're normally solid blue. Yeah, it's really nice. The tail's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. The anal fins. Like plenty of egg spots going on there. Yeah. There's, there's one female in there which is really unusual, and it's one I had to keep out of the fry, and she's really nice. I can't see her at the minute. But she's got blotches on one side, and when she turns around, she's got three perfect black stripes. Hmm. And I can't see her at the minute. Might be in this this jar here. Always the way, innit? When you want one to come out. Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. And you've got the yo yo loaches in here, this one as well, haven't you? Yeah, so, so I had a bit of a snail problem uh, 10 or 12 years ago. Before, yeah. Before I moved in here, actually. So they must be. Those loaches must be 15 years old, I reckon. Hmm. Oh, they do a great job of cleaning up snails. Oh, yeah. Don't they? Yeah, there's not a single snail in this tank. No. In most of the other tanks there is, but there she is. Oh yeah, look at her. Yeah, she is special, isn't she? Yeah. She's got oh, three, wow. three perfect stripes on one side. Yeah. And the other side, completely different. Yeah, she's amazing. She doesn't look real, does she? No. I spotted that when she was like a, a week old. And I'm like, you're not going anywhere. Yeah, you'll stay with me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. You smell that food, can't you? you oh, smell this is, this good. is a krill food, yeah. Yeah, you can smell it's good stuff, though. Yeah. yeah. I don't use it every day because it's quite high protein, but it's, it's got like naturally natural color, color enhancers in it, so mm. it's, it's good to give once in a while. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It does definitely. stink, though. Yeah, but it means it's good stuff, doesn't yeah. it? It smells. Okay, so next tank. This is lovely, isn't it, as well? Another catfish I've collected over the years. Yeah. I was given two of them. Uh, a guy bought, bought them with a tank and they got home and uh, he decided they, they weren't getting on together, so I ended up with them. Yeah. But he's got a flat face, he's not supposed to look like that. No, what, was he in a small tank or something and then rubbing I don't against know, it? But the other, the other one has got a normal face, he's in the tank over there, but they just didn't get on, so they've been split up since they've been here. Yeah, but they can still look at each other. <laughs> yeah. Warning, Charlie's not been in prison. That's, that's Gizmo, <laughs> he's just been called Gizmo since he arrived, but he's got a flat head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've got some lovely bits in here as well. well that's a lovely fish, isn't it? Yeah, another Kalanos, a carp bay, white male. Uh, Trophyops black macondi, OB male. Afrahara, he's looking nice. Yeah, he's really nice, isn't he? Wow, look at him. Hongi, love the chrome is Hongi, red top. And out of all your cichlids in here, what is the rarest cichlid that you keep in here? What would you say, anyway? Rarest? Yeah. I've got some rare now because I've bred a lot of them. Yeah, but yeah. I think I'm the only, only, peak, only, only person in the UK that had them originally, and that's a zebra mile point. Yeah. Um, and that was that female we saw, wasn't it? Yeah, that female with the three stripes on the side, and, and this, and a blotch male. Yeah. I think I had the only original wild blotch male which came into the country about quite five years ago mm. um, and I'm, I believe that anyone who's got Zebra Mara Point they've, they've only come from here yeah I don't think there's ever been another import of wild so well it's quite a nice thing to say isn't it it's yeah. quite impressive isn't it to say that we've got his brother up here as well he's an omorph white male Zebra oh, Mara yeah. Point yeah. he's just got that black tear mark under his eye yeah he's amazing isn't he 
It's things with these tanks, you, you have to keep looking and looking and looking, didn't you? Yeah. And more comes out, doesn't it? I've, I've, I've spent far too long in here. Yeah, yeah. I'll see why. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get people coming just, just to get a bag of food and they're in here an hour and a half. Oh, I'll put the eye, yeah. I'll get rid of them. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's quality, mate. It's absolutely quality. Love it. And this tank here then, so what have we got in here then? We've all got a bit skittish now. Yeah. Um, Metroclima Glaucos Kobu, that's the male. That's his female there. She's got a mouthful of fry at the moment. She's actually a little bit bigger than me. Ah, oh, these things. Solosi. We've got one, two, three females holding really like rabbits, they don't stop. Yeah. They're the males, black and blue males, yellow females. They love it, this one here, it's nice, isn't it? The one yeah. with the yellow tail. That's, oh, that's, that's Taiwanese or Chilundu. That is special, isn't it? Okay, it's Chilundu. They're good breeders, I've got loads of them going on at the moment. Yeah. That's another one, I think. Anyone who's got them in the UK, they come from here. Yeah. No, that's a really nice fish. Stands out, doesn't it? Yeah. Same again, it runs off that sump over there again? Yeah, 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 yeah all the tanks run off this sump. Yeah, and there's, a, there's a big internal there, just for a bit of extra movement as well. And how often did you clean the internals out then? That once a week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they do. And the panicle's great, isn't it? It does yeah. suck it all in, doesn't it? Some of these filters are old. I've, I've got some old um, Fluval 4 filters in there which I've had for 30 years and they're still running perfectly. Really? They've still got the same impellers in as well. Yeah, yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, so big up for Fluval filters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do like the Fluval stuff, mate. Yeah, it's amazing, mate. Right, should we get over to your other rack we've got over there? Because we've only done half the room barrier, haven't we? Well, they're a lot over here, so we've got those two empty at the top. But yeah, well, so obviously you had tanks up here. I did, yeah. 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 There was just stuff in there I didn't really need to keep, so yeah. that one's gone. That one's supposed to be sold, I don't know if it's been picked up or not. I might end up setting it up again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? What's in here then, man? Uh, the black ones, well, with the yellow tails, they are Asai Itungi. I've just had fry from two of the females. There's another one down there with a mouthful at the moment. And they're like little tadpoles when they're born. They're just little black black tibblers. Yeah, yeah. They're lovely fish, aren't they? There's something different, especially on a, on a tank with a, a dark background. You, you, you've got the white edges on, the, on all the fins and they stand out against the black. Yeah, they look yeah. really nice. I can imagine, yeah. Female orange esteray in there. There's a tank red blotch male mystery in there. They're, they're another good little feeding group. Oh, yes, yeah, coming up. She's lovely fish. She's big, isn't she? That's him. That's oh, it's him. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah. Females with the, uh, the plain orange one at the top there. Oh, yeah. Parents of quite a lot of what I've got over there. They're a, they're a good group, they are. And in this tub here, then, so what, what was in here? Well, that's the list of what's in there. Right. I'm not going to read it out. No. <laughs> you can have a look in there, though. 30 blue lips in there. There's 35 to 40 labidochromins for Bamba. That's a notice, Nak and Tenga. There's probably close on 200 fish in there at the moment. Oh, easy. And they, these will obviously be for sale soon, won't they? They will be, yeah. We've yeah. Got, well, some of them are a little bit small. Um, there's a there's a big fish in there which is in there trying to fatten up as well. I chucked her in there because she's looking a bit thin. And she's right. looking a lot better actually. Yeah, she'll do a lot with this lot. That's a quite good little hospital tank because I'm, I'm feeding, I'm chucking food in there every time, every time I come out here. Yeah, it's a good idea, isn't it? So I'm chucking handful of food in there three, four times a day. Yeah. If anything that's looking a bit skinny, just gets chucked in there and then picked yeah. up. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, hospital tank, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you need tanks like that, especially with a room like this. Yeah. You never know what's going to happen, do you? As long as they don't eat the little ones, they're alright. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> right. And this is your sum for this whole side here. And this yeah. same sort of thing, is it? Alpha Grog and... I see you've got some... Is that coral rock in there, is it? It's, uh, that's Alpha Grog in yeah. there. In there we've just got sponges and, and pond filter brushes. Oh, really. sponges, yeah. yeah. It, look, it looked like a rock from no, there. No, they're just filter brushes. Yeah. Uh, some plastic pond media in the next bit. Heater chamber. Yeah. And the pumps in the next one. And, and I see you've got a duck as well. What's the duck about then? 
<laughs> That's just to tell me where the water level is. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Grandson likes it as well when he yeah, comes around. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> Now these fish in here look very familiar. Familiar. I see these in the shop quite a lot. I'm pretty sure. So what what types have we got in here? Which one do you think it looks familiar then? Um, these guys. I've seen these in maiden heads before. I'm pretty sure. You've what? probably seen something similar, which are uh, oratus. Okay. Uh, and they're yellow rather than the black. They look a bit more like these ones, maybe. Yeah. But they're probably. not oratus either. Okay. The black and white ones are Melanochromis lorii, females. The ones with the yellow stripes are Chipoke. Okay. Really, they shouldn't be in the same tank, it's only temporary. There is, there is a chance of crossbreeding because there is a male lorii in there where we might take a liking to the wrong females. Yeah, yeah. And then what happens then? You don't know what you're going to have, do you? No, well, I won't be keeping fry if it, if it does happen. It'll, no. It'll just be fish food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's three big uh, white male Personotus Nakatanga in there as well. They're more sort of old breeding stock. Yeah. But they were getting a bit much in the big tank they were in, so I needed to put some other stuff in there. The thing is, with those three, they just stick up for each other. Yeah. If anyone picks a fight with one of them, the other two. Really? Yeah. The other yeah. two would come in and pretty much finish it. Yeah. So, they were a bit of a pain every time I wanted to put new fish in the tank. Yeah, I can imagine. There's nothing worse than your fish fighting. No. Oh, it's horrible, isn't it? But they're brothers, and they're, it's just weird. They're like, I call them the Mitchell brothers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They've all got different personalities, haven't yeah. they? I love the um, escapes you've got going on. Nice and simple. There's no dead spots, you know, and um, nothing sits around, does it? No, and if I need to take the tank apart to catch anything, it's pretty easy to do. Yeah, yeah. And this is where you do your water changes through this little window here. Yeah, that's yeah. where the water comes back from. Yeah. yeah. Well, this tank here is quite special, isn't it? Yeah. Get away with murder in that tank because it's so deep. Yeah. Because it's so deep, if I put rocks in there, I'll never get them out again. So yeah. I just sort of made up that thing with plastic guttering. And, uh, it's a really good idea, mate. It sort of caught on. I've done it in other tanks as well. Yeah, it's a really good idea. And the strawberry pots. I'll, I'll collect anything to put in tanks, so they're not fussy. No. Once it's got a bit of algae growth on it as well, gives them something to uh, graze on. Hmm. I've noticed none of your tanks, you've got any plecos in them at all, have you? Uh, there are in the dry tanks. Right. Little bristle noses. Yeah. But they tend to get demolished in with adults. So right. And they don't get enough food. No, no. Yeah, these lot are scavengers, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. As soon as it goes in, it's gone, isn't it? Yeah, well, well the bristle nose is being algae about. Being algae eaters and, and some of these, they're just they're in competition for food, so they just starve basically. Yeah, get really skinny. Yeah. Big male esteray there. Um, you can count the Xbox on him. He's got loads that one. Yeah, it's impressive, isn't it? Yeah, he's a good male that one. Uh, he's got seven females. Wow. There's one of them with a mouthful. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can see she's got a mouthful. Yeah. So when they're like that then, so obviously, what do you do with them, like with the mouthful now? Do you just leave it or do you take her out? Uh, I'll leave her in there. Yeah. I'll mark her up on my calendar up there. Yeah. And when she's done 16 to 18 days, I'll, I'll catch her and take the fry off of her. Yeah. And grow them on. If it's something I want to grow on. Hmm. If it's something like a salosi, I'll just let them spit in the tank and they'll be, they'll be fish food. Yeah, get eaten straight away, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'll definitely be catching those though. So. Hmm. It does mean taking a whole tank apart to catch it, but there you go. Yeah, it's worth doing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, if you can get some really nice fish out of it, absolutely. Yeah, yeah well, I'll probably get 15 fry out of it, maybe a few more, so mm. it's worth doing. Yeah, oh yeah, well worth doing. But by the time she's ready, there's probably, probably going to be another one or two females to catch at the same time, so... Yeah. And did you have this built for this fish room, did you? No, um, I bought it second hand. There was a guy down in Oxfordshire selling four of these, I think it was. Yeah. Um, empty koi bats, 1,000 litre. Mm. I just went down there with my mate's van and picked one up. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. And filtration on this, what does this run then? It's all running in, in the side there. It's in, in built. Right. Um, it came with all the filter media, 
came with a UV stereolyzer, which I've never used. Yeah. And a return pump. Oh yeah. Uh, and it's just run for like eight years constantly. Right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, really good idea. Yeah, it's really nice to see them like this, isn't it? I like the depth. Hmm. It's just, uh, pretty much a metre deep. A meter, it's a metre square, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, my brother's got a, um, oh, I can't remember the gallons or the litres of it now, one of these, but a real big one in his garden for the yeah. koi. And it's, you know, it's really nice to watch in the summer and stuff, the koi. Well, well you the hear like this. It's yeah, it's right, yeah. yeah. It's really nice to watch. It's, um, yeah, great for the koi. It's obviously in the normal pond, you're just looking down, aren't you? Yeah. You know, and it's like having a tank outside, basically. Yeah. Ah, oh, cool. This is my favourite scene. I'll just sit on a bucket and look in there. Yeah, yeah, just sitting there, yeah. <laughs> I think I'd fall through that if I sat on it. Yeah. <laughs> right, and we've got some tanks behind us as well, haven't we? Just some little... Oh, some little ones. Fry yeah. again, is it? More, more fry tanks, yeah. I just had a little bit of space on the end, so I had them made up just to fit on that end. Yeah. 22, 8 by 8, I think they are. Just running off little lights, yeah, quite cool, eh? Yeah, 10 pound lights from Ikea. Yeah. <laughs> it's all you need, haven't it? Yeah. Little LEDs, they are pretty good. Yeah. And these are running off the sun below, yeah? Yes, yeah, they just sort of overflow and return. Yeah. Same as all the other big tanks. And you obviously, you obviously built this whole system yourself, didn't you? I taught myself a bit of plumbing along the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could imagine. Well, you have to with fish keeping, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. I drilled all the tanks myself as well. Did you? Yeah. What was only that had, like? I only had one or two accidents. Yeah. Got to practice on an old one first, and then. We've got to do the 10 foot soon. It's double based. Oh no. Yeah. So yeah, I'm waiting for uh, Dom at India Aquatics to come and do it with me. No, Barry, you should be proud of it, mate. It's absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it, mate. And obviously, Barry, you sell fish, didn't you? You're yes. selling a lot of these fish. So if anyone's after any um, yeah. cichlids, you're on Facebook, aren't you? I've got a Facebook page, I've got a bands group as well. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty new to YouTube and that, so I've not really done anything with that yet. So. You should do something, especially in here. Yeah. Absolutely. And what's it called on Facebook so that the viewers know? Barry's and Boona, um, Bedfordshire. Right, you hear that guys, Barry's and Boona, Bedfordshire. Check him out if you want any uh, fry. So I'm sure there's uh, lots more to come, isn't there? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a never ending cycle. Absolutely amazing, mate. And also, he's got a display tank in the house, which we're going to go and see, but I'll probably film a separate video on it. This video is going to be really long um, if I do that as well. But um, yeah, thanks for having me over, mate. No problem at all. Really appreciate it, and it's um, absolutely amazing. I love it. Right, guys, um, yeah, stay tuned. We're going to do the display tank in the next video, so that will be out, obviously, after this video. Like and subscribe to the channel. Ding the notification bell, and thanks for watching. Keep it real, guys.